Capitalism, do I need this hair care remover from a random company that lives in China at $2 a bottle? Yes, of course it's cheap. Oh my God, it's a great deal, 90% off. You have exactly four hours, 21 minutes, and 23 seconds to get this deal before it's gone. Why is that the case, Frank? I don't know. Yeah, are they not gonna sell it to you if you don't order in those four hours and 23 seconds? I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> and why the hell did 29,000 people buy this electric douche nozzle and does it actually work? That's actually a lot of bottoms to make a top deal. Roll the opening. <laughs> Hello! Welcome back to What's Safe Word. I'm Amp. I'm Miss Christopher. And today we're gonna give you some what? good deals. Buddy, wanna buy a watch? Or terrible products that shouldn't be sold online. Top deals. Well, I'll determine if a top deserves to have these deals as well. Because today we are reviewing, once again, Timu or Temu, however you say it, it doesn't really matter. Either way, you're gonna be shopping like a millionaire. But what really got me to want to do another one of these videos, kind of passive aggressively, is all of the emails they keep sending me asking me if they want to be a sponsor on our videos. And then when I don't respond, they do the little RE, like as if they're replying, but as a new email being like, hey, just following up. No, you're not. This is a new email thread. So today we're reviewing Timu items to show you guys how terrible they are. And worse is we keep seeing the gear at live events, at bar nights, and while some of it is a decent deal, a lot of it is just crap. With sites like Alibaba, Wish, even Timu, we see this drop shipped merchandise that sometimes has a wonderful looking profile page on a website, but then you buy it and you realize what you bought was not what you got. What you wanna do is not necessarily what you're gonna do. Yeah, the pictures don't always match. So <laughs> today we are definitely biased, but we want to break down and see if Timu has actually increased and done a better job. We also wanna talk about the business practices and if what you're getting is actually a good deal or slowly killing the planet. I think you already know the answer to that. So we ordered a number of the recommended items that showed up not only first on Timu, but also in the sidebars. This is all stuff that they think that we would like based on past purchases, because we have bought some kinky stuff from them before. I can't wait to see. <laughs> Our first item, Daddy, is... I don't actually A black know. bag! The bags and bags and bags. You'll find one thing about Timu is they like to waste plastics. Um, ears. Oh no. Oh, we have to assemble it ourselves? This looks like something you would get at the Halloween store. <laughs> in a little, in a little tiny plastic. It's, is this a dog muzzle? I think it's a puppy play. Yeah. This is the One Piece BDSM Restraint Dog Mask BDSM Leather Detachable Mouth Mask Adult Kinky Cosplay Mask. And we bought it for $12. I think the mouth is upside down. I've never had a puppy play muzzle you had to assemble yourself. <laughs> Wait, where's Jesus, the other I didn't know we had to put it together. It's fucking Legos. I don't understand. One hour later. <laughs> it doesn't have back snaps. Back rolls. This is the cheapest puppy that I've ever, oh ever seen. A, the leather is so flimsy. It's not leather. It's not a robot. A, the not leather is so <laughs> flimsy. <laughs> I feel like something's wrong. You bought that. That's what's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you can't After attach it. After 10 minutes of trying to put this together, these snaps, these are all female ended. I'm not a girl. But also, I'm just gonna put it on my head and pretend okay. that I'm snapping it. Good luck. Oh, okay, even if I could snap it. It doesn't fit over your head. No, not at all. I can at least say that uh, you don't need to hold it there because it's so small, it's just sucked onto my oh, face. Oh, you don't even need to, you don't even yeah, attach it on the bottom. Literally, it smells like I'm getting cancer as we're filming this. <laughs> we'll take it off there. Okay, I can't. <laughs> oh, uh, it's stuck. Uh, uh. <laughs> that we're gonna say is a fail, right? Yeah, that was terrible. So we're also gonna yay or nay things today. We might, might even give it a meh if it's okay, but I'm gonna give this one a nay. Uh-uh, that's it's bad, doesn't feel nice. Ours doesn't even work properly. The quality's bad and we have to build it ourselves. Next item. Oh, Ooh. oh, it's gonna be a harness. Ooh, okay, this is the Men's PU Leather Shoulder Support Chest Harness Posture Corrector Body Shaper for Men. That is not leather. Well, it's neoprene. Yeah. So we sell pretty much this exact same design. The hardware is not 
bad, I have to say. But what I'm immediately seeing is the size. And there was no option. This was a one size fits most. Oh, that's not going to work. And from a producer of goods that we've seen many a time. Have you heard of Jock Mail before? Mm -mm. Oh, I see them all the time at, at not only kink events, but usually in the form of really cheaply made underwear. Ooh, we're going to correct your posture finally. <laughs> And how much do you think we spent on this? $20. Actually, not far off. We spent $18.62. And I will say, it looks like it's worth $18.62. The neoprene itself, and neoprene is like a wetsuit material. So it's something that stretches and it's made to be like an insulator. We use it all the time for gear with Mr. S. I will say, this is not a bad neoprene. It's got a good thickness. Give us a, give us a twirl. Twirly. It fits me. It looks it goes to the boat. good. It, it is a little tight. I feel a little stretched, but if a person was any bigger than me, there is no room to let this out any further. How are the snaps? Okay. They are a waterproof snap, so they're not a metal, they're a plastic. So that way if you get wet. So you can wear it, it by the pool. Or you can wear it in a nice shower. Or uh, at sunset, a golden shower. Oh yeah. yeah. Would you wear this color? <laughs> I mean, well, it depends. Nice. It depends. If I was at a cruise ship, possibly. Braving. You know how the kids do it? No, no. Don't they do that? Not that I know of. <laughs> it came in six different colors and it had over 7,000 reviews. So when I saw that this one was pretty well received, I'm not surprised that it comes in not only an adjustable size, but it does look nice. But it also comes from a verified seller I've seen in a number of other places. It's still a knockoff piece of something Mr. S has been making for years, but it's not a posture corrector by any means because you're still slouching. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, but you know, for 20 bucks, if, if this like a one-off you were doing at a dance party, not, I'm, I'm not I'm, mad about it. I'm not mad about it. It is a very well-known dupe though. Mm. And that's what these sites are really good at is selling dupes and literally using Amazon items and reviews from actual Amazon like sellers that aren't selling on Timu, which is just such a shady little practice. The hardware is good and yeah. the stitching is good. So what do we think of this one? I'd give it a plus, I'd hate to say it. I'm gonna give it a med just because I know that it's a stolen design. Sure. But it is a nice arm. Yeah. And it got here quick enough. Spoiler, I actually did plan this video for my birthday, which was early February and there were some items that took so long to get to us. Their, their, their practices for this. shipping are still terrible. Let's be really real about that. It's gotten better with some items, like this one came quick, but there were other items in this that took forever. Forever. And even items I didn't get. That you paid for and you didn't get? Yeah, they eventually refunded me after I, re oh. after I said something. And for the record, I used a PayPal account I did not use my credit card, I did not use my personal information, and I sent it to a P.O. box. So like, I did everything within my power to protect my identity, but even then, they still make it impossible to get your money back. Next item. Specifically because of what the item is and because it got reviewed, 29,000 people bought this, and it was all over my page. Yeah. Ugh. A bowling pin. Wait, what the hell? Oh. This is USB rechargeable silicone enema bulb with three settings, seven spray nozzle, hygienic and reusable cleaning kit for men and women. And I'm terrified of it. So this is a douche nozzle that sprays up into you? What'd you call me? Okay, first of all, this does not seem to have a very easy to use uh, system of squirting water into your ass. But also, how would you regulate when it stops, when it starts, I like something that you can squeeze yourself or turn off and on really easily, but this has one single button and that's it. It does come with instructions at least, uh, which is the first item today that has come with instructions. Yeah, so that's surprising. Unscrew bottle. After filling with the appropriate amount of water, tighten, press and hold the power button, it's the only button, for I, three seconds. I bet it works with coffee too. Do not. What? Coffee You're enemas. Put that coffee will, in that there. will wake you up. Water, water, that go get some water, go get some water. We're not putting coffee in that and squirting it all over the place. You're no fun. The light will come on and tell you that it is in standby mode. Click the power button again with the light on. The nozzle will automatically spray water. Seems pretty straightforward. I'm so excited to use this, but also terrified at the same time. So it's got a little dealy in there to suck up the water from the bottom. That's actually kind of nice. Okay, the white light. Got a white the light. The white light's on. Okay, so you just hit it. Ah! <laughs> okay, turn it off. <laughs> 
You got douche water in my coffee. How much do you think we spent on this electric douche nozzle, by the way? 15. Wow, you were really good at this. 17.99, not far off, not far off. But with over 29,000 sales and almost 3,000 reviews, my favorite review of all of them, and I quote, great personal item, perfect for my needs, plus avoids infection and embarrassing itchiness and unwanted diseases like colon cancer and other unwanted sicknesses. Also, if anything, <laughs> something that you are buying from a Timu is going to cause infections, but also cleaning out your colon has been proven to not help with colon cancer. So I'm thinking it's actually pretty good. Why? Like what it. is what is why? Because how many douche bulbs have you ever done? You've filled it up and then you're trying to put on the top and it doesn't match right. They're hard to screw on. This no. was easy to screw on. I have on. one that I use all the time that's not I hard know, to screw on. But not all of them are that way. It doesn't have a screw. In fact, it's a plop on. And I ha I hate the plop ons. So you'd rather have an electronic one that you got from China? Actually, if it works that well, why not? There's no way that's gonna shoot enough water inside of you or fast enough to clean your colon as well. It's you know what? fine. Will you test this? Will you use yeah. your ass for science? Yes. Okay, I want you to use that, a full bulb of it. Okay. And I wanna see how clean your butt is. Oh, okay. I'm gonna top. <laughs> this is gonna be a whole different YouTube. <laughs> Please to. wash it first before sticking it in your butt. Go wash it. Clean out your mouth and your butt. A few moments later. Woo! <laughs> Oh, oh my god! How do you turn it off? Yeah, exactly! All wet now. It works! I will say that it was hard to find the button when it was in your ass. Oh, I could hear. And you feel squeaky clean after using exactly 100 milliliters of water? I saw how much you used. I feel a little squishy. I'm good. What does that mean? It's good. It was fine, it was good, it was like any other. That is gonna give you a proper clean up. You were gonna feel secure after using that for anal sex. Yes. You're so full of it. <laughs> I, I will let people make their own judgments on that. I don't like it at all. Oh, I got that. But if you've used this before, I would love to hear your comments about how, how useful it is. And when it comes to deals, while Timu might not be our favorite place to go for sex-related items, we do have a wonderful sponsor today that's gonna make sure you have better sex. Which, if you've never heard of Helix Sleep, they're today's sponsor, and they make premium-grade mattresses that are made to fit your sleep style, and they do that with a very special quiz that's not a nightmare. It's a quiz you can take by yourself or with a partner to find a mattress that is perfect for you. You tell them your name, your age, your height and weight, as well as preferred sleeping positions. I'm personally more of a back and side sleeper and I like a medium to firm mattress. And maybe you were destroyed by COVID entirely and you just have aches and pains in the morning. You can even include that information. Based on my result, Helix matched not only myself, but also daddy with the Dusk Lux which we've had for over three years now, and both of us independently have been sleeping like rocks. When I'm not sleeping in my bed, I do not sleep well. And when it comes to sex, ooh, Helix also does great there as well because they're also getting awards for the best mattresses for sex. With a hybrid combination of foam and springs, you will sleep wonderfully. Unlike other brands, Helix mattresses do not contain fiberglass, which can be harmful to your health. And the Helix lineup offers 20 unique mattresses, including award-winning Lux and Ultra Premium Elite collections, the Helix Plus, which is a mattress designed for big and tall sleepers, and even Helix Kid mattresses, which are designed for growing bodies and endorsed by sleep and medical experts. The best part, though, is Helix Sleep delivers directly to your door with free shipping in the U.S., and it comes rolled up in a lovely little box, and the vacuum-packed like mattress that it comes with is probably my favorite part to open. And when you open it, you get the patented daddy sound. Hey, you guys like me are very nervous to buy things online. You'll also be very happy to hear that Helix has a hundred night sleep trial. So you get more than three months to make sure you love it. Plus Helix has a 10 year warranty on your mattress and they even offer financing options and flexible payment plans. Click the link down below or visit helixsleep.com slash watt to get 20% off your own Helix mattress plus two free pillows on us. Thank you again, Helix Sleep. The next item is one piece men's cyberpunk rogue cowl hood scarf, winter neck warmer, costume hooded cape, hat for Halloween cosplay and daily wear. That looks like a hands made tail thing. Here, wait, I want to try There's this one. There's no on. way. You're never going to figure this out. Here, I already figured it out. It's a bib that goes around here, and then you put the hood over that. Now, how much do you think we paid for this? God, I hope not too much. <laughs> $10. Exactly 9 dollars 
Wow, I'm you really, good at, really good at this. You should go on the prices right. I should. Okay, so we've got okay. some elastic bands this here. This looks so uncomfortable already. Some of these items are so stupid. Ah, surprise! It's me, the rogue. <laughs> That's a... Oh, you're serious. It looks like bad Halloween costume. Really um, bad. Really it bad. Really, it really does. And the the fabric in the photos definitely gives more of a an impression of thickness. Of, of weight, worth $10, not really. And I feel like a knockoff Grim Reaper. And <laughs> my very favorite part was looking through this item. You know how I said that sometimes Timu steals items from stuff uh, like Amazon? This is the video that opens up if you try to buy the item. Awesome, like, cool hood that I found here on Amazon. I want to show it to you. This is on Timu. It, it, you said on Amazon. They pulled the ultimate rogue and literally stolen the Amazon reviews and videos to put on the Timu listing. And the fact that this thing is still allowed to be sold, where's the regulation? You look like the Grim Reaper trying to hold up a 7-Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> give me your slushies or give me death. <laughs> yeah, if you put an iron to that, it would melt. Yeah, absolutely. Watching you make decisions is rather like watching a Tarask mating ritual. One simply assumes villages will be destroyed in the process. Uh -uh. I was kind of excited about this one. I don't honestly. even think the pictures looked good. Well, the pictures don't look like this. Perception check, do you see me? <laughs> Perception check, do you see yourself? Um, okay, next item. Boo -doo -boo. Uh -oh. More plastic. Oh, buckles. Oh no, oh no. Do we have to put this together? Oh my God, what, can you smell that? Ooh, that's a new smell. What is this? Is this a harness? Well, this is the adjustable adult leather belt. Leather harness, body bondage belt, strap punk, rave lingerie. And you know what, for the first time, even though they put it on a hot muscle guy, still looks terrible. <laughs> this is my recommended. I don't love it. And then that's the back, but that's the, that's the on model version. And then if you swipe through, they're using photos of actual leather. You can tell the thickness of that shit right there is latigo, which is a form of leather that is thick. Damn! It's firm. Damn! It's got depth to it. Damn. This is, is vinyl. It's just this is literally a strip vinyl. of plastic. Yeah, this is vinyl. And this corset is so sad. <laughs> 15 I, minutes later. How do you put that out. on? I don't know. And this is what I also hate is they expect you to put it together. They don't show you how, and the photos don't help when they're a different harness entirely, but let's see. They've built it backwards. They've literally built their own thing backwards. In the picture, the strap, the little strap goes oh, over, I'm lost. right? We're all lost here. I wish this one would have gotten lost in shipping. This isn't the same at all. Look how this, this is supposed to be a sideways. This is supposed to be like that. This is supposed to be that way. I see. You yeah. have to have a, a PhD in rocket science to put together a team of harness like that. Right. Okay, wait, I, I feel like we have to have the full fantasy. I'm gonna take my shirt off. Oh, okay. Full fantasy. Ooh. Don't look, I'm naked. <laughs> you look ridiculous. Oh, I know. <laughs> wow. That is the wait, ugliest. What is supposed to be happening in the back? <laughs> exactly. What is supposed to be happening? Is that supposed to be a corset? <laughs> that is the worst harness I've Jesus. ever seen in my life. I'm a top. This feels terrible. Yeah, and all this loose straps, not attractive. Yeah, don't let it touch me. Ah! <laughs> don't let it touch me. It's cool. Into oh. hell with you. Oh gosh, I love when the smell lingers. <laughs> Great. Next item. Okay, Daddy, remember how I just tried something on? Oh God. I think it's your turn. It's a cow. These are the men's cow print long pants, hollow drop crotch, hippie trouser, party pants, cocket style. And I want to just say, I don't know if it's a, we're allowed to use the term hippie. Anymore. I was going to say, why would you want a hippie trouser? I'm not sure. I think they meant like hip E, like under Like the hip. hips. That's what yeah. we're Yeah, not that's like what a hippie, meant. like. Yeah. Flower power. Okay, okay. Get, get your hip outfit out, Daddy. <laughs> and this one, I fuck, I love the, Oh, I made a mistake. I love the cow resurgence, the beef that people are bringing to the parties now. Cows are in, they are hot. I'm not sure if I'm here for these pants though. You wearing just these? And like a fun thong or a jock strap, like that's kind of fun. This belt is terrible though. Oh here, come here. Let me get it on your hippies. The reviews said that most of the people 
said that it was too big. And this keeps slipping, this belt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Oh. If I have a big meal, there you watch. Go. <laughs> well, I tucked it in. <laughs> oh, oh, hot. Wait, no, keep doing that. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the real question How's my butt look? Ooh. Got cow, got beef. Bitch, I'm a cow. Bitch, I'm a cow. So the problem is the spacing of where the side parts hit your, your actual hips. It's just space weird. The fitting is bad. The fabric is awful. It's it's very flimsy and it has that texture similar to that hood that I had. Maybe if it went, if you oh yeah, if you put it here, wait, 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 yeah. Wait, here I'll use this bungee cord. Perfect. <laughs> so we put one there, uh huh, and then you're fine. Just gonna do a little square knot. That is actually much better. Granted, not great still, but that is better. Next item. I'm not terrible. I'm, ooh, more like boo. <laughs> How much do you think? Five dollars. No. Seven. Twelve. Twelve? That's but a lot. Again, there's so much cow print shit on this website. Uh, it's, there's so much drop shipping and just... Cows are huge. Like, questions I ask myself when shopping on Timu, like, who's asking for these items and why they exist, the world may never know. But you know what they do know? What? We have more items. Oh, good. Uh-oh. I saw fur. Oh, it's not fur. Is it for Christopher? Oh. This is the men's fashion shiny rhinestone sexy chest chain crystal chain body party jewelry. Oh, God, I hate it already. I hate it on the model. Well, it thought that we would love this. I don't think that's going to fit. Okay, Especially it when is it looks like this. so tangled. Do, do, do. Listen, I didn't glue these together, okay? It just looks like it's gonna hurt. It looks like it's just about to snap, honestly. I'm about to snap, honestly. You didn't have to snap so hard. Jewel me. Oh my god, you're ready for the Titanic? You're ready to drop <laughs> your jewels in the bottom of the ocean? It's been 84 years. Oh. Remember me, Jack. Ooh, it's cold. <laughs> um, what are you doing down there? I don't ow. even know how this ow, is supposed to- Ow, 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 it's pinching my chest hair. All of the chains are different lengths. God, okay, this reminds, you know those friendship bracelets and like the really cheap stuff you get at like those fairs and then you try to put it on someone, it's impossible because little clasp, you can't get your fingers in and I have big, oh my God. <laughs> I got it, I got it. Do I look gorgeous? Do I look gorgeous? You know, I mean, it looks like the item. I can't move. What did you do? That, you are on the last rung. <laughs> you are on the last rung. <laughs> you are, no. <laughs> It's kind of pretty. I don't know. I don't hate it, but I also hate that I bought it. For the right thing, it looks kind of rich. For the right event, yes. Yes. It would work. Like the Emerald Harness Party. If you were going to a Wizard of Oz party. The Munchkin Land. <laughs> yeah. You would be great. You would be lovely. I know where I'm going to wear this. The Lollipop Guild? Yes. <laughs> Not to fear, little children. I will help. Save this for when Wicked comes out in theaters. <gasps> ah. Daddy, I need you to sit down because you're defying gravity right now. <laughs> the reviews say very elegant and stylish. My brother loved it. It fits perfectly on him. Hmm. Sure, Jan. <laughs> there was even one review that said, the tail has lovely fur. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, wrong review. The way these reviews don't actually apply to a lot of the items sometimes is kind of funny. And I think that that's because the shops that sell different things share the reviews across the board as if to say, all of the items are getting great reviews. Oh. And it's a very shady way to promote and like provide reviews for your items. I do have to say I feel pretty in the front, but how does it look in the back? In the back, it just looks like, it kind of looks like a lacy chain. It's not bad. If you move around in this, uh, oh, I, I can does feel it hurt? It, it keeps pulling my chest hair right here. Oh, okay, so it's it's a manscaping tool too. <laughs> Not a good one. It's like a man ripping. <laughs> what do we think of this one? I'm in the fence, I'm in the middle. It depends on what you're gonna use it for. I definitely couldn't put it on or take it off myself. Yeah, and I couldn't tell you what it's worth anymore because it got discontinued, meaning someone probably put a cease and desist for an item that actually exists and got that taken down. Uh... Wired did a whole article, like a deep dive into Timu items and the way in which they take people's things, make a cheaper copy, but use all of the metadata to copy that person's actual reviews uh, and, and items so that they can get all the sales. Again, this website's using a certain dropship model, 
that they knowingly are losing money for years and years and years and years, similar to what Amazon did, so that they can turn into the next Amazon. Interesting. It's very misleading. It's very manipulative. And it takes advantage of actual retail sellers and like small sellers that do exist on Amazon that are selling you what you want to get. Hmm. I don't even know if I put Ow. it on right, honestly. Are you okay? Ow. Chester. Ow. Okay, you're good. Ah. Ow. What? Ooh. Ah. <laughs> ah. That's like a face hugger. Ah. Ah. <laughs> I'll never let go is what I'll never say about this. And it'll be 84 years till we try that on again. Okay, and last but not least, this All feels right. familiar. These are the One Set Transparent BDSM PEU Leather Adjustable Handcuff Restraint Ankle Cuff BDSM Bondage Couple Sex Toy. Oh, it's got that, that paper that you know is just like soaking in the plastic residue. Like that's petroleum that's leaching out of it. Uh, so these are vinyl. Oh, they're so slimy. They're greasy, right? Like this is cancer right now. Hey, how you doing today? Do you like my bondage cuffs? Welcome to my salon. Brother. We're gonna get you all tied up. Oh, sorry. I'm a professional. The pain's supposed to happen. <laughs> I'm sure if Ow, you are a professional. Hurts. Ew. I mean, if you had a latex outfit and you wanted like really stylistic cuffs to go with it. I can't get free. Oh no. Oh, I can't get free. Usually that would have snapped by now. God, the bend and snap works every time. Impressive. Kind of. I will say the, the metal working of that is actually, it's actually metal. It's not like a cheap plastic. I'm, I'm shocked these rivets are holding it that well. Okay, but also it shows cuffs, it shows a collar, it shows a leash, it shows a whole set. Where's the rest of the set, Timu? Well, for $7.19. Yeah, that's what you're getting is two cuffs, but it was sold as a full set. That's a full set that I didn't get. Okay. Which, I mean, again, I'd be mad if I was trying to buy the entire set, but... They're not uncomfortable. They smell terrible. They do and they're slimy as all heck. But I think the slime goes away and I think the smell goes away if it's aired out. I'm actually not hating these now. Really? Yeah. Just the durability impresses me. And if that was a look you were going for, why not? It's a meh. It's a meh. I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. Really? Okay. Seven dollars. For seven dollars, I'm impressed at like the nice quality. The metal that's used is actually gonna be holding up. But I would not trust this stuff for hardcore BDSM. And that was our last item. Give me your review. Give me your feeling for everything that we got today. Kind of a cumulative, like just with like a face and a sound. Uh, mm, yeah. Uh, um. Yeah. Yeah. You get a solid like twenty mm. percent review mm. rating. So for me. a lot of it was cheap. A lot of it was crap. A lot. There were a couple of surprises. Sure, in the form of deals that you were still paying a decent amount for. These <laughs> items gave you the ooh ah ah sensation. Brown cow, stunning. Ooh ah ah. But at a very very high risk. Sometimes you get items that are broken. Sometimes you get items that aren't made in the same quality, material, or even look the right way when you put it together, which we had to do for multiple items. We had to put the <laughs> item together, which is just Some bad. Some backwards. And backwards, yeah. <laughs> Altogether, how much do you think we spent for all these items? 200. No. 150. No. 110. $120. I was so close. First try. Finding transparency on the app is nearly impossible. You get reviews for items that aren't even for the item. You get items in the mail that don't match the quality. So when we see this gear in the wild at kink events, it is kind of sad sometimes, not because we're trying to price gouge or shame people who can't afford a full harness, but there are so many better options out there from smaller or local retailers that want to give you something and make sure you like it. And make sure it doesn't give you like weird chemicals and smell like death. Hi, I'm the chemical burn from the spiral perm. But we hope that you guys enjoyed this episode and enjoyed us reviewing some items again. It's important to help people find that literacy online when shopping because so often we get duped by these dupes. So if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a comment down below. And whether you're shopping on Timu, Amazon, or some sort of look, please shop, shop locally. Always have a safe word. And today's safe word is... Timu! And well, if I heard someone say Timu in the middle of a sex scene, I would, I would stop. You'd stop. Like, oh, what? Is <laughs> that like, where this dildo is from? Oh, it's gonna fall. <laughs> <laughs> and please leave a like down below if you like this video and ring that bell if you like ringing bells. And don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.
with that in your butt. It's fine. Is it fine? My butt is. For now. Check it. You're not even doing anything. If you're gonna try it, you better try it. Oh my god! How do you turn it on? Yeah, exactly! <laughs>